So hello everybody, welcome to this year's Red Line Challenge and this year's theme is Room to Breathe and I'm here to share some ideas on how to tackle it. I have a very specific idea about composition. Most people see it as the process of including stuff into a frame, but I see it as the opposite, so taking elements out of the frame. So the purpose most of the times is to create a lot of negative space. So your main subject, your protagonist, is popping. So in order to illustrate this idea, I'm going to show you four photographs where the use of negative space and positive space will be pretty clear. So starting with this photo taken in Ethiopia, I have here a salt mine and a, a dromedary caravan. What I really wanted to stress out is that how lonely this drop can be. So the isolation that I felt while I was photographing is the very same isolation I'm trying to convey with this kind of composition. And as you can see, there's a lot of empty space and then, you know, very strong lines converging into the man. So as you can see, uh, the man itself has a lot of room to breathe and that's why he's easily perceived as a protagonist in this photo. What really made the difference here is that I was taking the photo really low on the ground. So by being so low, I can eliminate all the distractions and the photo becomes simpler. Moving on to this second photo, it was taken in Niger, uh, inside a mosque. And here what matters is the play between shadow and light, so very strong shadows. And you know the light, the highlights very well controlled through exposure. I just set up the exposure for the brightest parts, which in a very contrasty scene automatically renders the shadow parts completely dark. And so, of course, sooner or later, people start moving on out of the mosque and had everything ready. I just had to nail the shot, especially when the footsteps were in the right position. So moving on to the third photo, one of the biggest dilemmas is how can you photograph a place that is so well known and is being photographed for, by so many people. So actually, this was the first snowfall in October in the uh, Great Wall of China. And when everybody was you know, stepping down of the wall because it was too cold and the snow was really hitting hard, actually just one girl left alone with a pink umbrella. So, so what makes the photo work is you know the patch of very strong color against the you know the the brownish almost uh, monochromatic hues of this photo you get room to breathe not using shadows not because the whole photo is empty but because you know it's monochromatic and there's you know very strong color contrast in it and something I might add regarding this photo, the very strong lines of the wall of, uh, Great Wall of China that just lead your eyes through the photograph. And actually, they don't stop on the girl, they just continue into, until the infinite. And it's very easy to achieve with any roads anywhere else in the world. Moving on to the last image, you can see a man walking on the Thar Desert in India. So here again, what I'm trying to use is a very simple game between shadow and light. But here, uh, if you compare to the previous photos, you have a very strong line made of light and the, the man is walking against that line. So there's an idea of effort. And if you, if you look uh, carefully to, into the patterns on the sand, they are all against you know, the natural movement movement of men. So this kind of tension can be created even in a photo where you have lots of empty space. So being a travel photographer, of course, these photos were taken a little bit everywhere, but all those rules and tips, you can apply them just as easily with your friends at your doorstep. So the tension, the lights, the contrasts, everything. So I hope you have learned something today. This is what room to breathe means to me, but I'm just looking forward to see what it means to you. So get out there, take risks, experiment, and just send your photos. I'm really looking forward to see them.